All right, let's just let's discuss groove turning. Here's a quick video on the left that's going to show a part being a profile being cut using a groove tool. First, we're going to face the part off. We're going to turn the diameter. Then we're going to come in with a groove tool. And in the x-axis and in a grooving motion, we're going to remove all the material that, to rough out this particular cavity. Then the tool is going to come back and finish more in a turning type profile. Let me run that again. <clears throat> again, we face and turn the part. Come in with the, the grooving tool and groove out the rough shape of our, of our notch. And then come back in with the grooving tool and actually finish the profile. Now you'll notice there on the on the right under the program review screen, it's called a profile groove for profile groove rough, profile groove finish. And that's because we actually use the profile block or the turning um, the profile under the turning uh, menu. The difference is where it says operation, I've highlighted where it says groove rough, you see that that's the same selections that we had under turn rough, turn finish, and then groove rough and groove finish. So if I select one of the two grooves, then it will behave in this manner. I program it just the same way I did for a turning feature by telling it the uh, X and Z rapid, your X start, and so forth. The only difference is, notice the little screenshot there on the right that I've got the two faces highlighted. In this type you're going to create not the perpendicular 90 degree move. If I start with a turn, I have to end with a, a face. If I start with a face, I have to end with a turn. As we do in turning, I need, to, I need a U shape. So I'm going to create two faces for ODs, two turns for face type um, grooving here. So those, the first and last elements have to be parallel to each other. So you're describing a U shape. 